pursuit. You wonder if the crooks realize that in order to get away, they had to outrun the helicopter, the police cars, and the radio. Johnson County, Indiana. Police are in pursuit of this truck for a minor traffic violation. The teenage driver leads officers up the highway the wrong way. Very dangerous pursuit here. The crazy kid has oncoming cars swerving to get out of his path. Police race up the other side of the freeway to warn drivers of the danger. This is the last thing any driver expects to see on the freeway. We do have five officers in pursuit right now, and this guy is still not stopping. This isn't the action of someone who's running from a minor traffic violation. Police can only wonder why he's so desperate to get away. Then the kid suddenly pulls a turn, hammers across the median over opposing lanes, and into a soybean field. The rutted terrain pummels the truck's suspension, slowing the kid down. Very ruddy field out there. That's got to be shaking him up hard. But the police cruisers are stopped short, and officers are forced to fall back. The kid has a very big lead, and he's headed for the county line. There are no units waiting up there. Then he makes his way onto another highway. Having crossed the county line, the youth thinks he's gotten away scot-free but an unmarked police car picks up the pursuit. The teen doesn't notice, and he casually lights up a cigarette. Oh, this kid is unbelievable! He's driving along casually! Then a county sheriff joins the chase. The kid now has a sheriff, an unmarked car, and a helicopter on his tail, and he still won't give up. Up ahead, an officer has stop sticks ready. The police think they have the kid cold, but he sees the sticks and swerves around. Oh, he just missed the spike strips. He did not slow down at all. At the next exit, he swerves off the highway. He skids, almost losing control, and veers toward an oncoming car. Officers seize the moment and close in. The teenager finally realizes he's outflanked and gives up. Officers have him out of the car. He is now in custody. It looks like he is now surrendering. Code 4, suspect in custody. When the officers ask why he ran, he says because of the warrants on him. The police are baffled. His record is currently clean. This juvenile offender, who led police across two counties and seemed so slick, wasn't slick enough to realize he wasn't even wanted. Chattanooga, Tennessee. Police respond to reports of a speeding driver. We'll get this car 60 and a 40. But this is the suspect's lucky night. Before the officer can catch up to his vehicle, he gets a surprise from the right. A motorcycle runs a red light, nearly causing a collision. The driver panics and bolts. By the time the patrol car loops around, the biker has already gained a lot of distance. Got a DUI motorcycle running from the northbound Lee Highway crossing over 153. He just about hit me. The frightened suspect is drunk and outrunning the cruiser at over 90 miles an hour. He's all over the road. The officer charges ahead. As he closes the gap, the motorcyclist slows down. It looks like he might actually stop. But when the unit gets too close, the suspect panics again. He spins the agile bike around, doubling back on the cruiser. Stop down on me. The officer keeps a tight tail, but the suspect anxiously tries to shake him. He starts to turn again and attempts to spin around the cruiser once more. This time, he cuts back too close. The bike can take tight curves with ease, but the cruiser is not quite as nimble. Fortunately, no one is hurt. You about killed me and yourself. The officer determines the man is drunk, and now it's time to face the consequences. What do I got to do now? We're going to go to jail. This was the driver's first time evading arrest, 
and his first DUI. Hopefully, after being sentenced to 48 hours in lockup, a lengthy probation, and a one-year suspension of his license, these first offenses will be his last. Next on Police Videos. When faced with a madman, the cops call out the big guns. 